This is a character package, which means it will be up on my Gumroad and for my Patreons, you will get the full 14 hours of real-time recording, including the character creation, sculpting, unwrapping, texturing, materials, quick rigging, posing, and everything really included to create this character till the final render. You'll also get the blend files, the OBJ files, the final renders, the links will be on the screen and in the description below. Let's start. Wait, hold up. Let's rewind. For this part of the character creation, I'm gonna show you how I modeled the eyes. All right, pretty sure you guys are very excited for this one. And since you like it when I show you exactly how to do things, let's do that. So, gonna hide the lattice modifier for now. We'll talk about that in a second. There you go. Cursor to selected with Shift S, Shift A, create a UV sphere. We're gonna rotate that 90 degrees in the X axis. And then I'm gonna scale it down and try to mimic the shape that I have over here. And then I'm gonna push it away so that we could see what the hell I'm doing. Okay. So, I don't really have to do exactly the same thing, but taking a look at what I did before, again, I did that a while back. I'm just gonna try to do the same thing. So, I probably, whoops, Control R, added the loop over here. We could see that's a bit sharp and that's probably a personal taste. So you don't really have to do that, but that's what I wanted for this eyeball. And then I added another one or maybe even two edge loops over here. And what you could do here is hit G twice so that you could do an edge slide, get this one closer so that I could add another edge loop. And then I'm gonna hit the O button to activate the proportional editing over here and then I'm going to actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this edge loop over here and hide it there you go perfect so I'm gonna change the proportional editing to connected and now no matter how big it is it's not gonna affect the rest that's what I want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and try to get the same shape there you go looks around the same and then I'm gonna scale this upwards pull down the proportional editing same for this one there you go looks pretty cool almost the same if not the same okay and then unhide okay so here's a really cool trick I'm gonna grab this edge loop so again it's with shift alt to grab the edge loop and then shift s cursor to selected and i'm doing that so that i could change the pivot point to the 3d cursor and once i do that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this part oops so with b we could do that right over here and i'll probably take this edge loop as well i can grab this part shift d to duplicate it and once i scale it's gonna scale on that pivot point as you can see so I'm gonna scale it minus one. Let me see if I could grab that on my keyboard. Minus one, there you go. On the proper axis. And once I do that, as you can see, it's very precise, which is pretty cool. I could separate that with P. So P is separate. Separate the selection, get out of it, and grab the other parts right over here. And once I do that, I'm just gonna mimic the shape I have over here. And if you're wondering why I did it this way, just go look at eye anatomy or something i don't really know how to say it but just check out how the eye looks like on google and you'll understand it's really not that complicated so mm, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scale it but i want to remove the pivot point and put it back to bounding box All right perfect so i'm gonna scale it down i'm gonna scale this part down as well actually i don't really need, need this part over here i'm just gonna grab everything delete it grab the edge loop over here with shift and alt again so if you're wondering why i don't have screencast keys it's because it bugs and crashes blender and we don't want that do we so i'm gonna remove the proportional editing i don't really need it anymore so we're gonna extrude it and again uh remove proportional editing for that reason okay so extrude again extrude and then with f i could just close it there you go quite simple mm. And then maybe I think I added an edge loop so that it could hold when you add a subdivision surface. There you go. See, it doesn't look exactly the same. But if I hit Control B, it will bevel and we can add an edge loop. Hopefully you guys know how to model in Blender at least, you know, some part of it. Because otherwise you might be 
I might be going a bit too fast, but again, it's not a modeling tutorial. So there you go, it looks quite similar, that's how I did it. And we have the pupil iris over here, and then we have the cornea over here. Hopefully I'm using the right terms. And yeah, that's how I modeled the eyes. Finally, what you could do is you could create a lattice, as you can see. I'm gonna put it right over here. And with the lattice, we're gonna add some support. Okay, I'm gonna scale it down. Now would be a good time to scale it before you actually connect it to the eyes. And then I could grab the eye. I'm gonna hide the other one because I don't really need it anymore, but you know, you, you just do exactly the same thing that I'm gonna be doing with this big one. So I'm gonna hide it. There you go. I'm gonna add the lattice modifier. Hmm, where are you at? There you go, perfect. And I'm gonna select the lattice. I believe it's the lattice two. Yeah, there you go. So it's lattice two. That's where I checked it over here. And I'm gonna grab it. Bam, perfect. Okay. So if I grab this, go to edit mode and scale it. There you go, I could scale the eyes. So if I really wanna make a stylized shape like I did with my character, as you can see over here, her eyes are, you know, they're kind of oval, not really a circle, a sphere. So that's how I did it, quite simple. I could play around with the shape as much as I want. And if I wanted to do the same for the other one, again, all I gotta do is Let's see, lattice. Actually, I could just probably control L. Well, I actually have to do it the other way around. I have to grab this and then this one. Control L, materials. So I'm gonna link the materials. Did it work? It did not work. It's supposed to be the other way around? I don't know. Oh no, it's over here as well. That's weird. Oh, I have to select lattice too. So it did actually work. And there you go, that's how it works. And if I do the same for this one, well, it's a bit bigger, but you guys get the idea. So if you like the video, if you learned a thing or two, do like the video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this video. Did you enjoy it? Was I going too fast? Was I going too slow? And after liking the video, uh, just tune in because there are still other parts for this course. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, everything's going to be available up on my Gumroad and for my patrons. So you're going to have over 14 hours of full recording for creating this character from the concept creation. So the drawing and painting to the sculpting to the materials, unwrapping, texturing, rigging everything until the final results you'll also get the blend files you get the obj files and you will get the full resolution renders i'll see you guys in the next one